Kelly with this brand new car yesterday was unhappy with the performance of the car. Again, a little bit like the Jason Richards comments, didn't specifically have any one issue, just an overall lack of grip. You see the car sliding off the exit of turn seven there. Let's see where he is at the moment in the order. So it's a double for Team Vodafone at the top of the timesheets, then another double for FPR in third and fourth. Here's Mark Scaife from 13th up to 5th. And three drivers are on a 9-7. Lowndes, Wincup and Winterbottom, all of them Fords, then Jason Richards, the first of the Holdens. So it's Scaife buying into the top ten. It puts Stephen Johnson and Will Davis in 11th and 12th. Here's Rick Kelly, 13th. The signs aren't good after the first sector. But over the last few laps, Cromley, he's been better in the final two. Not this time. He's chasing his former teammates, Mark, to get into the top ten. It's happy hour at the Valley. Will it work for Kelly, the defending pole sitter here? He stays outside the top 10 he's got one more shot at it what's he got left compared to a couple of cars that we heard earlier in qualifying nowhere near as long on the rev limiter down there for rick kelly and winterbottom's gone into the lane still quite a lot of race cars on track out there at the moment on the left hand side of the approach to five there is where we've got our camera in the ripple strip we'll show you that shot over the weekend well that was a nasty 